it's finally here. 5G is real and it's official. In the room behind me, the 3GPP plenary is in its closing session, completing work on the first drop of Release 15, the set of specifications that will define 5G. At a meeting in Lisbon this week, the 3GPP completed the first 5G NR specification. That's a new radio standard that will, for the moment, work alongside the LTE core network. So this week is in the, indeed a historical achievement from 3GPP as a whole. We've released the non-standalone 5G radio specifications, which means that um, you need an LT anchor. Um, and besides the LT anchor, you have the 5G NR cell, but you basically do your control plane and control plane communication through LT, and then you boost the user data capacity with 5G NR and the new radio technology. If you go into the meeting rooms here, you'll find 450 experts working away and arguing about every comma and full stop so that what we describe is actually very meticulously done. This is the result of a very, very significant input from industry at large. I know that, that there have been many, 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 many hours of meetings throughout this year. Uh, hundreds of man days of effort go into writing these standards and, and really they should be congratulated for having um, accelerated the delivery of, of standards that were first expected in June next year and having delivered them in time for December this year. The full schedule of Release 15 calls for a completion in June, uh, in June 2018, so we have another six months uh, to complete the full suite uh, of 5G specifications for Release 15 and that will encompass the so-called standalone system so that we'll not have to rely on the LT anymore for control plane communications and it will have full control plane support for, for the new 5G radio. I, I think it's, it's important to note that what we've achieved now in, in this, at this point, uh, with this preliminary release, and certainly by the time we reach June, um, are the foundations upon which we're going to build all of the 5G features in the future. And uh, this is the, the really uh, deeper significance of the work we're doing not the specific features that we delivered now, but the fact that uh, as we continue, both NR and the 5G core network are going to uh, expand on the basis of the foundation that we provided in, in the last year, basically, of, of intense work. Uh, I think we're, we're in very good shape for the months to come, and uh, it, it'll be an exciting challenge to, to get through both phase one and phase two of, of this uh, initial 5G process, and I'm very confident that we're going to achieve the, the targets that we set out to for IMT 2020 and even exceed many of those goals. In 1987, on the Portuguese island of Madeira, modern cellular communications was born with the signing of the famous GSM MOU. Now, 30 years on, in the Portuguese capital of Lisbon, a new era in communications is about to begin. This is Guy Daniels for Telecom TV at the 3GPP Plenary in Lisbon.